Pat with Pat's Two Cents. We are reading Hebrews chapter 11, starting at verse 1, ending wherever God says. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. For by it, the elders obtained a good report. Through faith, we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of God, so that things which are seen were not made of things which do appear. By faith, Abel offered unto God a more excellent sacrifice than Cain, by which he obtained a witness that he was righteous. God testifying of his gifts, and by it, he being dead, yet speaketh. By faith, Enoch was translated that he should not see death, and was not found because God had translated him. For before his translation, he had this testimony that he pleased God. But without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to God must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. I'm going to stop there. That's verse 6. You know, we don't realize how important it is for our faith to be strong. And we have to remember that in these last days, we can't go by the news report. We can't go by the political gossip. We can't go by one party or another party. We have to go by God's explicit instruction through this time. Now, we can choose to live in the light, or we can choose to live in the darkness. That, my love, is strictly up to you. God is not going to tell you what to pick. He's going to advise, counsel, direct, and give road signs all along the way. But the choice, the freedom of choice is yours. Now, you can be determined to see God's best, or you can be that stubborn enough to live on God's bad side. You have to decide how you want your life to end up. Things are going so crazy now. They're even making movies. I remember one of my uh, online subscribers, she's like a, 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 a sister we we have communicated down through the years. Her name is Carol. She sent me a trailer of a movie that was a depiction of what life was going to end up being like within the next two or three years. Now, I don't know if it's prophetically accurate or if God's going to turn, if God's going to flip the script and say, no, it ain't going down like that. I don't know. But we have no idea what lies ahead. There's so much scuttlebutt on the internet about earthquakes and meteorites and destruction of this state and destruction of that county and destruction of this coastline and destruction of that. It's all over the place. And every, before you get all caught up in it, believe it or not, every single year, there are prophecies, horrible prophecies about this country every single year and it's always expected to happen sometime between september and november it's the weirdest thing it's oh those are the hottest times of the year when everybody's looking for all hell to break loose if we have our minds about us instead of hitting the panic button and getting caught up in the in the in the f fearful frenzy we need to pray about it. We need to take authority, the authority we have in the name of Jesus. We need to pray by faith, asking God for mercy, asking God for every concern that's on your heart regarding this country, regarding this world, regarding our, our standard of life. You have to go to the creator to get the changes you really want. See, mankind, we are fickle. By human nature, we are fickle. 
One minute I love you, the next minute I hate you. One minute I want to glorify you, the next minute I want to crucify you. That's people for you. One minute you're wonderful and anointed, the next minute I see you as you're not even walking with the Lord. You're a false prophet. That's the way we do things. We have opinions that fly with the wind. That's why the Bible says don't be taken driven about by every doctrine of wind, every every everywhere the wind blows. There you go. Oh no, it's this over here. Oh no, this is what's happening. Oh no, that's no. God is not the author of confusion. So whatever you go through during this time, you must stay focused on the word of God, the promises of God. Stay focused on him. Because no matter what goes down, baby, God has a solution to your problem. You don't even have to have a problem. When all hell breaks loose, you can be like Jesus down at the bottom of the, of the boat, sleeping. Totally at rest. That's called entering into his rest. When you enter into God, when you enter into his heart, knowing that he's got your back, knowing that he's got all the things that concerns you, that he's going to take care of you. He's going to protect you. He's going to provide for you. When you know all that, all this other stuff, all the foolishness, all the smoke screens, all the, all the, the outbreaks over here and the, and the, and the, and the, the tremors over there and the, Everything that's shaking and quaking, everything that seems unsteady and unstable, it does not have to have you shaking at the knees. Not if you truly, truly have faith in God. And that's my question to you. Where lies your faith? Are you believing in God or are you believing in you? Are you believing in God or are you believing in them? Are you believing in God and his word or are you believing on YouTube and their words? What are you believing in? Where's your faith? Hmm. There's a scripture in the Bible that says, uh, I'll show you my faith by what I do. That's everyday language right there. That's a loose paraphrase. You know, you can show me your faith. That's fine. I mean, you can tell me your faith. Tell me what you believe in. That's fine. But you'll know what I believe in by what I do and what I don't do. Therein lies the proof of my faith, of where my faith lies. You hear me? So you can learn all kind of financial gains and, and get all kind of financial gain. You can get all on top of the world. But baby, if you lose your soul, it doesn't add up to a hill of beans. It's over. When the curtain goes down here, it's over. But see, with us who believe in Christ, with us who believe in God and his ways and believe in him and his faithfulness in our lives, when it's over here, it's going to be even better over there because we will be eternally with him. So I ask you, where lies your faith? Are you going to put all your eggs in the basket called the world? You're going to put all your eggs in the basket called the political system? Hmm. God might tell you to pack your stuff, sell your house, and move to Uruguay for all you know. Will you do it? Or will you depend on your own senses? And, well, I never did it like that before. So I'm going to stay with what I know. You don't have to stay with what you know. You can just stay with what God knows and you'll be A-OK. -okay. See, what you know could be here today and gone tomorrow for all you know. But what God knows, it's steadfast, sure, unshakable. And you don't have to worry when God directs you anywhere. If God's doing it, baby, you're going to be all right. If God sent you, you're going to be kept. You're going to be safe, secure, stable, established, full of joy, full of peace, having entered into his rest. Because you know 
your life is on his bosom. He has not forgotten you. So don't get caught up in this world and the politics and the news and the in the in the newscast and and the YouTube political gossip, the YouTube uh weather gossip. Don't get caught up in that. You find yourself being jerked around like somebody on a rubber band. And you just be snapping and breaking and cracking and tripping over nothing, wasting energy, believing in stuff that has no warrant. Trust God. Believe in God, no matter what. If you got friends, then, uh, this is coming to me right now, so it's a warning to somebody. If you have friends that are trying to get you to consult with psychics, tarot cards, the occult, trying to get you to get involved in crystals and any of that stuff, and you think it's harmless, and they're trying to explain to you it's all part of God, it's all part of God, don't go for it. God considers all of that other stuff an abomination. He said, don't go to wizards that peep and mutter. No, 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 no. Don't go to diviners. Don't go to, to psychics. No, no, don't consult with that. Consult with God. Acknowledge him in all your ways. And he will direct your path. Verbally or circumstantially, he will direct your path. Trust God. That's your warning. That's your encouragement. That's your exhortation. And I. And done. God bless you. Be encouraged during these times. God's got you if you have him. God bless you.